Hey everybody, get your chai, because we're about to do a review. Yep, and protect your moth. <laughs> <laughs> to our stupid reactions to idiots. I'm Corbin and this is Richard. Hi. That is also Richard. Whoa! <laughs> That's nuts. Um, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content! It's so juicy. Should they ring a bell? Maybe. <gasps> <laughs> but you're all already part of the notification squad. Yeah, yeah. Even when YouTube doesn't notify you, you're all notifying YouTube. Uh, but please do if they don't yeah. notify you. Uh, do but today, we watched our second Vishal Bardwash film. It's true, we did it. Oh, by the way, just right out the bat, Spoiler. if you haven't seen the movie, go away. Go away. Uh, Spoilers are coming. But this is our second Vishal Bardwash film. Yeah. Uh, because we watched the trailer, and then everybody was like, this is really good. Gotta watch it, gotta watch it. And of course, it was Priyanka who, it, uh, Priyanka. Just, and since Barfi, I'm like, out yeah. of my mind. Um, but, you wanna read the synopsis? I, I will read the synopsis. It? Yes. Susanna's quest for love leads to a series of marriages, each ending in the mysterious death of her latest husband. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, <laughs> but this is actually a, uh, a recreation of a sh either a short, short story. story or yes. Is it a short story? It was a short story. Okay. Yes, not about shorts. I've written those. Uh, and I believe the author had an appearance in it as well. Oh, really? Did a little cameo? A little Hitchcockian kind of... Well, I think it was the, uh, the priest at the end, the ugly one at the bar. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the ugly one at the bar. We'll get to that at the, in, in a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't marry him. I was like, your standards have gone down a lot. Oh, what if he's a sweet guy? <laughs> I'm sure he's sweet. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's a sweetheart. Uh, anyways, but the uh, this film, um, obviously starring Priyanka and Irfan Khan. Yes, and, and, and uh, uh, what's his name? I was uh, also really John Abraham and John Abraham, and I was really surprised to see oh, uh, what's uh, his name? and Shaw, yeah, uh, from, from Deborah, from, yeah, and Wednesday, and when, yes, I, I didn't, I forgot. I think we saw him in the trailer, and, but I think I just forgot. And I, I forgot about Irfan. I'm watching oh, the movie, you? and Irfan appeared, and I nearly like flew out of my chair. I was yeah. so happy. So yeah, so this film obviously starts off with uh, Priyanka killing herself. Which I the, love. I was the opening. The opening was just freaking awesome yeah. at every level. I loved it, and it, it, one, it right at the start, it didn't even really look like Bianca, but it's because she was older, and right, they they put stuff on her face, right. Um, but um, the to started off, um, <laughs> Priyanka, holy cow! Wow, man, I <laughs> this was an amazing performance. Yeah, I guess I just by a. Obviously, we already know she was brilliant, but this is probably, I mean, it'd be between obviously this and Barfi from what we've seen so far, and yeah. we haven't seen enough of her repertoire. Right, we've got to see fashion. We've got to see fashion. Yeah. Um, we've got to see fashion. But um, the, the way she has such screen presence in this, and just, it's such a great character. Um, Vashal. Let me talk to you directly, because of course you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's not watching. Anyways, but um, Vishal, you are so freaking brilliant. The way, no, one, one, let's just start with actors. The way he, I think he's an actor's director. It can't, he has to be. Because Based on this and Hater, he's, he's got to be especially a gem, the lead. gem to work with. And I think he has a, he's very different, very totally different. But very Quentin-esque, because he has a dark sense of humor, I right. think. Right, but very different. Very, I no, see what no, you're not saying. Not, not no, anywhere yeah. Stylistically, he's not Quentin. No. But he is Quentin in terms of he paves his own path and yeah. does his own thing and is very different. Yeah. Um, very, and, very different. And quirky. Yes. Um, and the way he, I think, <laughs> we need to see more of his stuff. Obviously, we're going to see McBool and we're going to see all that. Yeah, that's stuff. next on the list for um, his films. But uh, we want to finish that whole Shakespearean yes. trilogy he created, which... Is there you go right there? <laughs> <laughs> but um, the 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 main thing outside of Priyanka that I noticed about this film um, was he. I think he was flexing. I don't know if you noticed with a lot of his shots. Yeah, just so 
different and yes. unique. There was one shot he did that I thought, you know what? I wonder how many people are paying attention to that. He had one shot was down on the table and there was a water pitcher there and he got Priyanka's face through the handle of the water pitcher. Yeah. Stuff just, like that. Just so many, like it, it, a lot of stuff. The rocking chair where she just kept yes, in back. and out of the light. And, and, and same and thing the with light. the bell. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. I loved it when that happened. I was hoping that was going to happen like every single every time. Every single time. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I like this little bell thing she's got yeah. going. <laughs> Just get away from her. Yeah. But in, in terms of the film uh, as a whole, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I can see, uh, I, I read some reviews after I watched it and some people were disappointed. I don't know if this had a huge buildup because it's a Rashal bard wash film yeah i don't know if it did either because this was pre-hater yeah pre -hater. Um, um and so i don't it's, I, yeah i don't know what the momentum was coming into it uh so obviously we didn't have any of that because we just watched the trailer right and you said watch it and so we watched it um but it it's the same thing very similar in terms of style of hater because if you don't like dialogue mm -hmm. and you don't like just watching actors right work together work together i could see how you might be bored right but I right because you want more from it, but yeah. that's we're yeah, it, it, you want like action, you want these no. murder scenes. It's one want... of the things we love about Tarantino is yeah. because he's just freaking nothing but dialogue, yeah, and interaction. I mean, he'll, he'll take 20 minutes to tell you something other directors will do in two. I saw, I saw some uh, uh, reviews that said it got just repetitive, but I'm like, well, that's the film, it's literally about him killing or her killing. Yeah, what did they find repetitive? Because I people, I, I didn't find anything repetitive <laughs> no, in it at all. all. I loved each, each one. I, I, for, I, I knew he was in this film, but I totally, while watching, I did not know it was John Abraham. Yeah, I remember. I knew it was when I saw him. Yeah. Yeah, I recognized uh, him. I, like, <laughs> after I was like, where was, oh, he was, oh, he was the second guy. Right, okay, right, right. Gotcha. But um, I, I loved how she killed each one of them. <laughs> I did too. Um, <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. Uh, <laughs> See, Corbin loves death. I do. I do love death. Um, uh, and what did you not like anything about the film? The only thing I, I the, here's, a, I, this is really nitpicky cause I'm always going to look for things to be nitpicky about. Of course. And, and I, which, I have some too. Which makes, which makes a film like Hater where I have nothing to say about oh, yeah. it. That was just that amazing. extraordinary when I can't find anything, well, there's, there's, which is rare. There's one thing in there for me. Yeah. Okay. But this, <laughs> for, for this, yeah. there were a couple of things of well, believability of some of the much smaller supporting roles at times not all the time but at times yeah where i didn't believe them at times mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough to pull me away mm -hmm. second it it um i had to force myself not to compare it to some other films and this uh, this requires some explaining it's my understanding that as far as a genre this kind of film dark comedy mm -hmm. done this way was that this film was pretty groundbreaking that a lot of, for example, a lot of filmmakers might not want to do it and a lot of Indian actresses might not want to take on this because the, the character is playing such a, a strange Which is why I compared role. it a lot to Tarantino. Yes. Uh, because it was so different. But it, it even weird. goes farther than that for me and I was comparing it to my, my favorite oddball, dark comedy, weird, what the heck is going on, borderline on is the director insane or do they have a message and they're a genius? Mm -hmm. In Bruges, yeah. The Lobster, <laughs> yeah. Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if you haven't seen those so three, you compare ladies and gentlemen. You, you compare them a lot to, uh, who's that, Wes Anderson? Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson. But yeah, I, I, that's actually a good comparison, yeah. even though he's not totally different. Totally different, but yeah, in terms but, of style of the films he likes, right. I think. Right, he, so those films for me are about as weird oddball dark comedy as it gets especially the lobster <laughs> i love the lobster it's love so that good. movie with really deep connections to like greek mythology and literature did you notice the books that he kept tossing in a little bit like at one point it was so subtle what? he had a book on the table that she was reading that was oh. the three the seven wives of, of bluebeard uh -huh. and then at one point she's reading a book and it's anna karenina which there's there's these he's such an intelligent oh yeah writer composer yeah the, the, the music we could talk about the music once yeah but anyway and we need to talk about we're gonna be here a while next. yeah yeah sorry um yeah, the most but, of reviews are 20 minutes <laughs> so here those films for me if people were going to say to me what are your favorite dark comedy oddball things it's those three right off the top of my head in bruges the lobster grand budapest this didn't reach that level for me mm -hmm. but i think it does reach that level 
I, in fact, it's probably higher on that level when it comes to Indian cinema because those films are were not groundbreaking in American cinema. Yeah, there's. Does I, that make sense? I agree with you. In, in, in certain aspects, I do in terms of the film as a whole. Yeah, uh, uh, and part of that is restraints that he would have on him from the censorship board that the uh, filmmakers here don't have. Yeah, that he has but, to work around to I, still be cutting edge. I think he got a better performance out of Priyanka. Oh, that's any that's, of those. We're gonna get there in a second. Had. We'll get uh, there. In a and then also, I think artistically. I couldn't get over. It was it was similar to uh, uh, Sanjay did uh, uh, Padmanabha. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, and and Bajirao. Similar in terms of uh, while watching the film, you can just watch it just for what he does in terms of visuals, but right. very different. It, very it's different. just not. I, I could watch the film just because of the creative shots. Yes, he did. They're not, for example, Padma, uh, Sanjay is a very visual. Yes. Painter yes. of image where you're you're jobble dropping. You'll just look at an image and go I cannot believe that image He can do that. I'm sure yes, but that's not yeah. the way he directs a film No, he directs a film in a way that a Wes Anderson would direct a film Yeah, where you're gonna get a shot that's going to give you uh, his scripts are probably full of POV po point of view from this person that even the shots for example when she's having sex with the guy Oh, uh, yeah, that was a great shot. Yeah, it starts with her. Very unique set. You know they can't have the, the normal sex scene. Right, they can't they do, do an all-out sex scene like they do yeah, here. Yeah. But uh, to show her that way, and then to go back down on him like that, oh, uh, yeah. Across the eye. Yeah, the, yeah, he does some things that are very really script-driven. Yeah. Very, I think he would be more in tune to how much is this driving the story forward and giving the perspective I want you to have. And I think that that's probably Sanjay's mindset as well. But he would do that with a much more lyrical visual yeah. palette, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Not that they can't, not that either director couldn't do the other, but I think their default mm -hmm. is is that. Now let's let us talk about well, Priyanka. Oh uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I think we did a little bit. That I got a lot to say about. Okay, her. but uh, Priyanka, and we'll talk about the end at the end. Yes. Because yes, I, I love the ending. I love the ending. Uh, but, We're gonna get to the ending. Uh, but yes, Priyanka was okay. And it, it was very comparable to um, Sh Shahid Kapoor's performance in Hater in terms of the gravitas of it. The uh, danger. Yes. She's a dangerous woman. Yes. And I She's love it. She's a dangerous actor, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And please, Hollywood, actually use her. Okay. Freaking idiot. I gotta, I gotta say it. I gotta say everything I'm feeling about okay, this. Go I'm gonna blow up. Okay. First of all. What I'm about to share so is... So this isn't an Ali about Highway performance for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I love you, Alia. You know I love you. No, um, you're not part of the fan club anymore. Go. Now, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to say about Priyanka is purely subjective. I don't expect anyone else to necessarily gravitate toward this. Okay. Okay? It may seem strange at first because it relates to Marilyn Monroe. That's why it's going to seem strange. Okay. <laughs> I, I, in case you didn't know, I got a thing for Marilyn Monroe. Always have since I was a little boy. Um, she, <laughs> there are certain things in this world that have a captivation for me I can't explain. That go way beyond just sight, whatever. Mm. And and the beauty of Marilyn Monroe has mm. always been something that captivated me. And, and okay, that's what how about. she is captured on screen and her presence on screen and on photographs. When I look at Marilyn Monroe, it's it's just it's. It's almost otherworldly because, and she's both, she can be sexy, mm -hmm. she can be vulnerable, she can be innocent. I, man, if she hadn't died, because I know she wanted, like Elvis, she wanted to be a serious actor. She wanted to go beyond what she had created with the sexual bombshell. Which is probably why I never really cared for her. No, she really did. Do you know, she, she studied with Brando and everybody else that was there with, with Lee Strasberg. Doesn't mean she was... And of, James Dean. She, no, but she that's where she went, like Elvis. But that's how you think of Priyanka? In two, in two respects. First of all, I can't believe I'm saying this. Hmm. I have not seen an actress on screen that draws me to her with that sense of her beauty, both sexy, vulnerable, crazy, playful, since Marilyn Monroe. I've never said that about an actress. Yeah. So that's that. Now, let's add Except a brand. beard. That's true. Well, <laughs> if she grew a beard, fuck <laughs> on. Now let's talk about the woman as an actor. Oh. She's got the closest shot, and I hate saying this, but it's the truth. 
because of her receptivity in American culture and stuff, like with Quantico and some other things that she's done, she's got the closest shot to be in something of American cinema and be the first actress from out of India to win an Academy Award for supporting her best actress. Mm -hmm. Well, if they ever put her in something, that's, that's what they've got. That's all they need to do. That don't put just, her on Baywatch. Just put her in something. Mm -hmm. Because this was 2011, I think, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Barfi came after this, and you can see her growth as an actor at uh, that yeah. point. Yeah. This woman has got the chops to become if, if people would just put her in it here. And not that that's the quintessential end-all, be-all. But for American viewers who I want to know about, yeah. Yeah. the quality that comes out of India, she is, to me... You, I, she, she could win multiple Oscars. She's that freaking good of an actor. Yep. Uh, I, I just, she blows my mind. Yeah. And, yeah. and dangerous because the greatest actors are the ones like, that's one of my favorite things about Daniel Day-Lewis, mm -hmm. is that I feel like if, we, if you were working with her in a scene, which is what I want from an actor when I'm working with them, I want to know that I have no idea what they're gonna do in any given minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I wanna know, <laughs> That at any moment, and every time you do the scene, there's gonna be something completely different. <laughs> like that? <laughs> the first one was better. <laughs> but that in the moment, impromptu, I'm just, like, I guarantee that moment when she said, and I'm going to drink his blood. I, that wasn't scripted, and I bet she didn't do that in any other time. I bet it was. I don't think so. Well, I think I, that was here, just here's, her. Here's why. Because she was talking about Jesus. So. Oh, so that makes you do this? <laughs> Oh, I thought you were talking about the... You... No, not the line. Okay. The actual sticking out of the tongue. Okay. I, I think that was just Priyanka I understand what being the character. And I was like, I'm pretty I, sure that was the... Yeah, so I just... I, I can't say enough about it. Um, but, her. yeah, the only... Uh, and, and we could talk about, obviously, everybody... I thought... One, I loved his character because it was... I, I didn't expect his character, Irfan Khan. Irfan Khan, I know, to be an abusive weenie? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. He was a weird abusive. He was weird abusive. He, he liked to be he punish people during sex. Yeah, <laughs> which I was, mean, it's it's one thing to say, that's another yeah, thing to go. <laughs> ah, stop it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like when she got when people were hitting her. I like wanted to get up out of the screen yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, say, him. "Leave Priyanka alone, you the, bastard." The, the two the two actors I think in it that I didn't like, um, and surprise, surprise, they were both white. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The the Russian guy. I agree. Uh, he wasn't. That's when I was saying some of the supporting roles. Yeah, I'm not, I, 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 I wasn't in love too with. hard on. Like I said, though, if you need any token white people, man, I'm over here for you. Yeah, we're we're ready. I'll do it for free. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> we really will. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so those were the only actually issues I had with the film because I I, I fully loved it and I loved watching her performance. But now yeah. we can talk about the end. Um, yeah, loved the ending. Because I I. I the whirling dervish thing with Jesus? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, the, the, uh... <laughs> it's I was, so I was trying to predict the end. And I was like, because I, I told you, I was like, I was disappointed. Yeah. I was like, she's getting married to this. Well, and that's this the other thing. Schmuck. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that the getting married part, that little twist on the fact that he was a, a priest and the marriage was her coming to be a nun. Mm -hmm. You didn't see that coming, No. Did you? Yeah, None no at way. None at all. I thought it was just another... I thought, she's marrying the guy because he's got money and, and it's and just so, another husband. And so I didn't know... And that guy, that the, the boy, Sugar, whatever his name was. Yeah, who plays the... the very the, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, isn't he? Very, very Every Joseph time he was on the screen, I was like, that looks like... 100%. Indian Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, very <laughs> much. But um, That's who I would cast if we were doing this yeah. film. We needed to get somebody from our, our current actors that we know. Exactly. Uh, uh, but the, um, <laughs> the... The ending... Oh. One, obviously that performance that she gave when he was walking away and she's like, I'm going to drink his blood. <laughs> and then you actually figure out what she's talking about. Yes. One, Genius. Genius obviously was the, it was obviously the writing from the book that I'm right. guessing this was from. Right. Um, I, I suppose it's, that's part of it. But I don't know if it's like a jab at like Christianity. Right. Uh, or what it that, is. Yeah. I kept looking for messages in the yeah. film. Like, well, I, because each of the each of the guys represents one of the seven deadly sins. Right. And I thought I, this is also something. It's the seven deadly sins, but then it's also the things that are expected of women to be and the roles they're supposed to play. Uh -huh. And is this a message about how a woman is going to be kicking against the system and kill the stereotypes that they have of them? Yeah. And then when it went to that, I had the same thought. I'm like, I was oh, like, wow. So I didn't know if the message was like. So basically, in Christianity, you can do whatever you want as long as you ask <laughs> for forgiveness, forgiveness in the end. You can kill, 
kill all your husbands. Because <laughs> uh, I think it, the, the it, seven kumas means seven sins forgiven. Or I think so. Which the one thing I also wish the ending was a little bit different. Did you stay and you see the end credit scene? Yeah. I I I would have preferred it was just left alone with yeah. her saying, "Father, forgive me." Yeah. And boom. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Need I don't know. That actually. I don't know why they uh, right. added that. Maybe you can let us know. Why yeah, let us know why that. we needed that Please, at the end because I didn't need it. <laughs> when <laughs> we talk to you, let, <laughs> let us know. Yes, because, <laughs> because we know how you should have ended your film better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Telling Vashal how yeah. to direct. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, the the ending. I love that it left you with questions. Yo, uh, it, it, and what it meant, and that it was so. Out of the blue, at least to me, because I, I think it's a very popular book. So maybe people were disappointed because they knew the ending. Right. I didn't know Good the point. ending Good at all. point. For those of because when you see a movie that's based on a book and you already know the book, totally different than someone who knows, knows nothing about the material. Yeah. Going in. Yeah. So like it was completely out of left field that she became a nun. Oh, and we thought she was talking her, about, I'm going to drink his blood. And she's talking about the blood of The blood Jesus. of Jesus. The first, we'll get back to the end, the first, um, the first husband of all the husbands was the one who I had the hardest time believing he was the character he was, at, the guy with the, the leg missing. Oh yeah. He was another one. But I go back to the beginning because as you've been saying that, because we're talking about the end, this movie gets just better and better as it goes. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like this beautiful bottle of wine that you just, you, you have another glass and it's just, wow, this is really good. At first, another glass, at wow, this is better than I, had the first class. And I love the incorporation of her servants that were basically her henchmen. I know, her henchmen weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and at first I didn't think I was going to like the little guy. Right. Um, and cause he right. said the something and, and I was like, oh God. When you is, first see him, not, you're like, oh no, please yeah. don't. But he grows then, on you. He grows on you and then you get, figure out what they're doing. He, he can't speak. Right. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. No, and so that, I thought that was very Quentin-esque in terms of having me. This little guy fight this big guy with yeah, the whips. Very. I love that. Yeah, scene. and then he loses an eye. Yeah, I thought that was a great scene. Fantastic. Um, so that was a brilliant film. I love this film so much. Uh, I'm sorry if you didn't. A yeah. lot of you did. Yeah, uh, most of you do. But for those of you who, <coughs> who didn't like it, you must not like dark comedies or have seen many dark comedies because uh, this is this is is this is a dark comedy, which apparently is groundbreaking in terms of what it covers for Indian cinema. Yeah. Uh, we get a lot of it here in the cinema that's done here. We mentioned those movies before, but um, but to, to me, if you have a lesser actress in this, oh, yeah. this, could, this, could, this could easily tank. But I don't know. Because it's, it's so on her shoulders. I think Vishal could get it out of a lot of people. I think he's in, he's one of those directors like Quentin I, that gets the best. You know what I would love to know? Out of them, like I, when Quentin yes. gets out of Leo? I would love to know <coughs> Priyanka as she's grown as an artist because and she didn't start off as an actor. I mean, she studied some theater. I've done a little background study on her. She studied some theater when she came to America. So I think she always had a love for the art form, but she was, she's very smart. She was going to be an engineer. And then when she went into the, the, the um, beauty contest and she won, that's what gave her the prominence where she started to get asked to be in some films. Oh, cool. So this came on the more early side. And I wonder how much of working with him brought things out of her. I wonder if this was a scary film for her to do because she was so unsure of herself, mm. but she just took risks and took, uh, that's what I mean, man. She's dangerous. I think this woman would do anything you ask her to do yeah. in a role, even on the spot. Like he could come over to her and say, okay, we're gonna do it totally different than script that I want you to do this. And that she as a person might be terrified of that choice, mm. but that she would say, yes, let's, let's, yeah. let's go with that. So yeah, this so is just I I, I love this film. Yeah, I did too. Fully. I mean, the uh, I still think I put Hater ahead for me just yeah, because it's just I don't flawless. I don't. Yeah, it's just I couldn't find anything wrong. But it's right there, it, it, especially in terms of films we've watched. It's 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 definitely in my top ten, maybe well, even top yeah. five. Yeah, in yeah. many respects, because it's a genre we've not even and seen. I touched. thought and I thought this actually had some even better shots in it, directorial wise, uh -huh. than Hater did. It did, because it was quirkier. Yes. It's just crazy to say, because Hater's so freaking quirky. Yeah, yeah, it is. But yeah, it was, here's the other thing, man, we could keep going, his direction. I love him. He's not, <laughs> he's, he too is a dangerous director. I don't think that that guy's gonna do anything just because it's worked before. 
Oh no, I think he'll make choices with his shots. Because I don't think it's a he fresh vision. I don't think he would do a film like this. No, if you or a film like Shakespeare. No, and, and readapt it like that. Yeah, if, if he was a safe director. Yeah, that's what. Anyways, love it. Uh, please put us in your films. 